He said, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Why is God willing that we should prosper? For the propagation of the gospel. For the propagation of the gospel. How? It's when you have money that you go out to say, Jesus is Lord. No. Okay. What for? You know, one, one, one thing first is, if you, for example, if you want to, there's a saying in, um, in a language that if you want to give somebody clothes, you know, they will first look at what is on you. If you, mm. to be able to reach out to the, you know, to the wildest part, you need to have the means to be able to do so. That, uh, uh, that's one. Uh, uh, no, you have mentioned two things <laughs> now. That if, if you, you, you are doing two in one. So I want to know the one that you are choosing. If you want to preach to somebody, you must be good looking. Is that what you are saying? So that, that, that they can that, accept the message you are bringing. Not only that. But because if, for example, you are going, your shirt is tattered and your, your shoes are, and you are going and say, come to Jesus. Not my shoe, not my shirt. It will make you prosper. And they are looking at you and say, if, do I want to be They are looking you? at the person. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, not, <laughs> okay, so that you may be a good representative of, pride. of God, all right? Yeah, that's, that's so, so you are going to say number two. No, I was saying, because also to be able to, there are a lot of places where, you know, if you can't go, but if you are, if you are, if you prosper financially, when you come you back, when you will come and tell us your own reason, <laughs> <laughs> you can touch many more lives even beyond where you are. You know, if you if you are financially viable, you can do many things for God. Now that you are said, go and build churches in your local government, in your you know, your you, villages. you need financial means to be able to do this. Yes. Plus, yeah. All right. Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. Praise the Lord. Yes, I want to prosper because it is my right as a child of God to be rich, to okay. be wealthy, actually. Yeah. So if it is my right, then I should strive to make sure that I get what belongs to me. Praise the All Lord. All right, it's your right, like we are telling us, you know, uh, since we started this, it's our right to prosper. But if you prosper, what will you do with the prosperity? What do you think God wants you to do with the prosperity? Okay, let me put it that way. Sister Adeshimari. Okay. Okay. That God himself says the earth is his own and his fullness thereof. Our God himself says we, so if his claim we are his children, it's our right also to be rich, to be wealthy. Hey, it's your right to be wealthy. That's what she said, and that's why we are here. What do you want to do with the wealth? What, what do you think God wants you to do with the wealth? Yes, he wants us to be rich so that we can serve him with the wealth. So that we can serve him with the with wealth. The That's wealth. number one. Ma'am? To be comfortable. <laughs> to meet my needs. To be a blessing to others. To be a blessing to others. Those are the three things. Number one, God wants you to take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Be comfortable. Number two, God wants you to invest on kingdom works. God wants you to invest on kingdom projects. And number three, God wants you to minister to the needs of others. So when we are praying for financial prosperity, we should be conscious of these three things. That God, please bless me so that I can take care of my family. Bless me so that I can take care of your work. Bless me so that I can take care of your people, the needy, those who need what I want, what I have. Praise ye the Lord. So we are to prosper so that we might provide abundantly for our own families, bless those around us, and fund the work of the kingdom of God here on earth. 